What happens when you drive with a suspended license? Here are five things you need to know. First, you're breaking the law. Generally, the law states that you need to be properly licensed when driving a vehicle. Now, the reason why we have laws about being properly licensed is really all about public safety. Think about it this way. A car weighs 4,000 pounds. It's like a weapon on wheels that can cause property damage, can hurt or even kill people. So to protect the public from these weapon on wheels, laws were created to ensure that people are properly licensed. Now, advances in technology make it really easy for the police to find people driving with a suspended license, and there are severe penalties if you're convicted of driving with a suspended license. Second, if charged by the police, the wording of the charge matters a lot. Now, there is a significant difference between a charge on a driving suspension versus a driving prohibition versus a driving disqualification. So this wording, suspension, prohibition, disqualification, those words may seem similar, but they're not. They're very different from a legal perspective with very different impact. Generally, the word suspension is applicable in the context of provincial law. So in Ontario, it's the Highway Traffic Act. The words prohibition or disqualification, that language is used under the Criminal Code of Canada. So charges that use the words prohibition or disqualification, we're actually dealing with a criminal charge versus charges that deal with the word suspension, license suspension. That's not a criminal charge, but it's a serious traffic offense. So for the rest of this video, I'm gonna talk about drive suspension in the context of the Highway Traffic Act, so not a criminal charge. The third thing you need to know, it's important to know why you're suspended so you can fix the problem. So when you're charged with driving while under suspension under the Highway Traffic Act, it's important to find out why is your license suspended so you can fix the problem. Now, generally your license can be suspended for five reasons. The first is unpaid fines. And it's the most common reason for a license suspension is unpaid fines. So for example, you didn't pay a traffic ticket within a certain period of time. The law allows the province to suspend your license until you pay the ticket in full. Second, suspension by a court. So in the past, let's say you've been found guilty of a charge and the penalty allows the judge to impose a driving license suspension. Third reason, suspension by the Ministry of Transportation of Ontario, known as MTO. The most common suspension by MTO are point escalations. So for example, you're a G2 driver and you get a four point ticket, you get an automatic 30 day suspension. Or if you're convicted of driving while under suspension, MTO will give you a mandatory six month driving suspension. The fourth reason that you could be suspended is a suspension by MTO without guilt. Now, there are a few cases where the MTO can suspend your license even if you've not been convicted on any charge. So for example, if you're charged with stunt driving under the Highway Traffic Act, you actually get an immediate seven day driving suspension even though you've not been found guilty of the stunt driving charge. The fifth reason for getting a suspension would be not meeting a requirement in the Highway Traffic Act. So for example, if you have a medical condition that impacts your ability to drive, your doctor is legally required to contact MTO about your medical condition, condition and your driver's license will be suspended. Or in the context of a family law matter, if you don't make spousal payments, the Family Law Responsibility Office can contact MTO, who will then suspend your license. Fourth thing you need to know just generally about uh, what happens when you drive with a suspended license is that it's easy to convict you. So if you're charged with driving while under suspension, you're gonna go through a court process to determine whether you're guilty or not guilty. Now. The way the laws are written, the lawmakers decided to make it really easy to convict you on a driving while under suspension charge. Generally, the province just needs to prove that on the day your license, on the day that you were charged by the police that the light, your license was in fact suspended and that notice of your suspension was generated, the court does not need to prove that you received notice. And the last thing you need to know is that the penalties are severe. If you're convicted with driving under suspension, 
the penalties you face are severe. There's a mandatory six month license suspension. The suspension's written in the law. It's not optional. You get convicted, you're not gonna be able to drive for six months. Fines start at $1,000 and they go up to $5,000 and they also add on a 25% victim surcharge. Uh, there's probation up to two years and jail in severe circumstances all the way up to six months for each time you've been charged with driving while under suspension. If you have any questions, reach out and uh, let's have a confidential chat.